If you're out to make more net profit in your business and you think that winning one extra project or putting another van on the road or generating more sales income will be the key to generating greater profits, but you're not really that profitable at the moment, then you need to listen on. Because what I've seen historically in working with businesses for over 20 years is that more income does not necessarily equal more profit. In fact, more income could drive profit the other way. Here's a quick story. Patty and Mick, two Irish fellas, landed in Australia. They thought it was a great idea to start up a small business. They were on the beach one morning and they thought about going into the watermelon selling businesses. They looked at each other, they both loved watermelon. They pulled their resources together and thought, let's buy a truck, let's go up to the markets every day, we'll buy these big juicy watermelons, bring them down to the beach and sell them to everybody who also loves watermelons as well. They bought the truck, went up to the markets, they bought these big fat juicy watermelons for a dollar each. Then they went down to the beach, opened up the back of the truck and sold them all for a dollar each. But after a couple of weeks, they were really busy. They couldn't keep up with demand. And then they sat down at the end of one day and they were both weary and tired and couldn't keep up and they knew something was amiss. So Patty said to Mick, you know what? We've got a challenge here. We're really busy. We can't keep up with demand yet we're not making any profit. What do you think we should do? 30 seconds later, Mick jumped up. He says, I've got the idea, Patty. All we gotta do is buy a second truck. Now, we might laugh at that story, but I know there's some of you out there listening to that who can relate that thinking maybe another truck on the road is gonna be the key or another big project is gonna be the key. More work does not always equal more profit. So one of the reasons why this could be, and I want you to sort of just hang in there with me on this, is what I've seen historically is as your business grows and evolves, your brand builds, the quality of the work that you do, you know, improves as well. You win bigger projects or you can take on extra work. So you then think that the key to being able to deliver on this and generate extra net profit is to put extra labor on. So once the extra payroll comes on, the extra labor is there, it might serve as purpose in the short term, yet you then have to now start thinking about how do I win more work to ensure that I keep these guys employed. And now making payroll becomes your biggest headache, not being able to complete the work. So what can happen in this situation is, you go out there, you bring in not the ideal work, you may even compromise your margins to ensure that you can win the work to keep the team employed. And what can happen is we call it the illusion or the black hole of growth where a business can go from easily $750,000, a million dollars in revenue, to two to three to four to five million and above without extra any, any extra net profitability. In fact, you may just have the same challenges that you had when you were below that million dollars in sales, but with more zeros on it. So what I want you to think about is that more revenue does not equal more profit. We've got to get you to at least double digit profit now. We like to get all of our clients to at least 15% net profit and then hire effectively. Look at your labor productivity. Look at all the systems and processes that you've got in place so that you can grow profitably. You can scale effectively with consistency and stability and most importantly, enjoy the journey along the way. So more work does not equal more profit. Have a look at what you're doing within your business and if we can help in any way, we'd love to assist. All the best.